Vidalia onions. How many people love them? Yay, me too. So I have a beautiful Vidalia onion, and one of the things about onions, of course, is their aroma or their smell. It's very distinctive, isn't it? So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna cut my Vidalia first. I'm actually gonna slice it, and I'm gonna put it down flat on my board, and then cut it down the middle, and then I'm gonna peel off the paper, and I'm gonna slice it and smell it, and I'm gonna pass it around and let you all smell what a raw onion smells like. You don't have to put it close to your nose. So we've got some Vidalia onion slices here, and even though they say they're sweet, they're still pretty pungent when they're raw, aren't they? So there's our first aroma of the day. Now, what I'm gonna do with my Vidalia onions, and I actually did this yesterday, was I'm gonna pickle the Vidalia onions. And to do that, what I've done and this is in your recipe packet, I've taken two cups of water, one cup of white vinegar, and a half a cup of sugar. Brought it up to a boil on the stove, turned it down to a simmer, and let the sugar melt, and then put my sliced Vidalias in there. And this is what it looks like. And this, I'm gonna pass around, some, uh, that's the brine and the um, onions, but now I'm gonna pass around the pickled onions and see what a difference in the aroma there is with the pickled onions. Much different, isn't it? Okay, so it does have sugar in it, and I just wanted to show you all what kind of sugar I used. I used a turbinado sugar, and look at how beautiful this, the color of this sugar is. Isn't that gorgeous? This means that it is less processed than the other sugar. Um, you know how we usually use white granulated sugar and it's really, really white? That means that it has been bleached or processed more. So when we do use sugar, it's really a good idea to use the least processed as possible. This is tur turbinado sugar. It, there's also demadera sugar or raw sugar. And you know the sugar in the raw? It's kind of the same thing. It just has been um, less processed, so there's more molasses in, in the color. So I'll pass that around as well. So that will turn your onions a little bit brown. You'll notice that your brining liquid is a little browner, but that's fine. So what am I using here? I'm using our um, olive oil mayo. I wanna use that because it has more omega-3s in it. That's what we're looking for is those yummy omega-3s that are also anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer. Now for four cups of this, um, the onions, the pickled onions that I've kept in my fridge overnight, I'm gonna use about a cup of my olive oil mayo. I've got a lot more than four cups in here, so I used quite a bit. The next thing I'm gonna use is just a little shot of hot sauce, and you can use either a Louisiana hot sauce or you can use our favorite Tabasco. Now, the next thing I'm gonna put in here is a little Worcestershire. Okay, so here's something that we don't use often, but it's a really wonderful taste and aroma, and that is celery seed. The celery seed is actually the little immature fruits. It's not really the seed of the celery. It's grown in temperate climates, and the reason that we love it is because celery is so good for us, so the celery seed, which is smaller, is really good for us. And I'm gonna put about a teaspoon or so of my celery seed right into my dip. Okay, so next we're going to put this out for you and we're gonna let you try it too. 